Okay, I'm going to make chocolate and gravy. I'm not going to show my face because I just woke up and I look horrible. But I'm doing this video for Kathleen because she wanted to know how to make it. Um, her username is glorifying zero zero, I think. But this is chocolate, gravy, and biscuits. And all I have to use, whatever you prefer, you can make homemade biscuits or canned biscuits. But I like to use the frozen biscuits. So when, um, before you start your gravy, you need to go ahead and put your biscuits in the oven. I have got, um, I went ahead and turned my saucepan on. This is about how big that you would need. I don't know how big that is, but, um, you put it on like medium heat, maybe just a tad bit under medium heat, and, um, if you do not have a half a stick of butter, you can use like the soft butter that comes in the tubs, like I've got here. I don't know how well you can see it, but um, just okay, use my battery with dead. Um, but you put the half, half a stick or a half a cup of butter in a saucepan and you kind of let it melt just a little bit. Then you need to get a cup of sugar and you pour in there. Then, then you need to get. Two tablespoons of cocoa. This is a half a tablespoon, so I have to use four of these. And it could be heaping, it don't have to be exact measurement. Okay, and I use three tablespoons of flour. Okay, once you put all the ingredients, you put the butter, sugar, flour, and cocoa in there together. Then you just mix it together. I don't know how well I could do this with um, me holding the camera with one hand. And, and my batteries keep going dead, so y'all just have to excuse it. But you just mix it together real good, and it'll become kind of like a pasty top texture it smells so good but once it gets this this kind of texture real good and you don't see no lumps or anything in it real bad um, you put your milk which you put um, two cups of milk and then you put um, a fourth a tablespoon of vanilla flavoring and you mix it together okay I cannot find a fourth of tablespoon vanilla flavoring and this is what I most of the time do I don't really go strictly by the ingredients so I just add that's probably more than a fourth of a teaspoon but it's fine it tastes the same so you keep stirring this And it, it'll take it a little while to kind of get it all mixed together, but um, you have to keep stirring the rent around the bottom of it because it will stick and then it'll burn the chocolate and it won't taste right. So you just keep standing here and just stir your life away. <laughs> Okay, my gravy is just about done, and if you could tell, it kind of has a little bubbling. Okay, my gravy is nice and done and thick, like I like it. It is so good, y'all. Oh, smells so good too. But there's the gravy, and I have a few pieces of bacon frying for Brayden, and the biscuits are cooking. And I turned around and I have a youngin standing on the kitchen table. I mean, sitting on the kitchen table with crayons. What are you doing? I'm making the head. I'm making the picture. A picture? Oh, wait a minute. Mama, help you down. Can you tell everybody good morning? Mm -hmm. Say good morning. <laughs> 